Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and this is a Let's Talk, just a discussion, but really just me kind of getting something off of my chest. And then we're going to take a look at the promo images for Nendoroid, Loki, TVA, and President version. This went up today on August 2nd as of recording this video, and hopefully that this gets out the next day or two. Um, and truthfully... Uh, a TVA Loki is a really cool idea. I'm glad that Nendoroid is taking a look at the Disney Plus series. Hopefully, hopefully we get a Wanda and Vision Nendoroid coming soon. But Falcon and Winter Soldier got one, and now Loki got one, so it's looking good. That being said, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video because we're going to talk about a key issue with Nendoroid pricing right now and just what you get for what you pay for so this is the dx edition of nendoroid loki from the disney plus show and it costs at a 8800 yen which is roughly 80 dollars usd and here's what it comes with right so and so it comes with the figure it comes with two face plates an interchangeable horn face plate uh horn hair plate it comes with a separate President Loki body. It comes with some arms and hands, two other accessories, and a Marvel Studios Loki logo plate. Um, and so overall, not terrible, like right? Like this is a solid Nendoroid, but not for eighty dollars, not for eight thousand yen plus. Um, the main issue I have with this is the lack of ingenuity when it comes to articulation and accessories, really. It lacks in both departments. Now, obviously, Nendoroids are going to be more expensive than Pop Finals. They come with parts. The pieces are hand-painted in some areas. It's sculpted differently. Um, it's just overall going to be better quality, so you're going to be paying that. But... Pop vinyls run you around thirteen to fifteen dollars, whereas this is around eighty dollars. So that's sixty-five more dollars. Is it really worth it at that point? That's up to you. That's up to personal preference. Now, let's jump away from this DX version real quick and go just to the regular standard TVA version. And it really is that. It comes with Loki with all the arms and hands that the previous one came with. It comes with the accessories, the Tesseract, it comes with the second phase plate, it comes with the TVA transporter thing, it comes with Miss Minutes. The only thing it doesn't come with is the separate front horns, the President Loki body, and the Loki logo plate. And that's three more accessories, and this one, the standard version, runs you around 5,500 yen, which is close to $50. Now, that's still quite a bit of money and it's not that's much higher than what it used to be it used to be around 4500 uh which is closer to 40 dollars and some of the nendoroids were less than that more than that so prices are obviously rising and listen i'll give them the benefit of the doubt i don't know what the marvel licensing fee is like so they have to recoup their costs and uh profits somehow so they have to raise it in order to make some sort of profit. I understand, but is it really that high? I will say that the standard Loki TVA version is pretty solid, and unless you really need the horns, uh, I see no reason to really get the President Loki version just for that separate body. It appears very briefly in the show, and I get it's comic book accurate to some extent, but it's really not worth it, all right? So, so taking a look at the three things that are separate, the President Loki body, sure it looks cool now there's no arms for it so it's stuck in this position so it's really just kind of a statue sure it's well painted but there's nothing really more to it comes with the separate horns which look really great honestly that is the biggest selling point is to get loki with his classic horns but if you have the ragnarok loki that dx figure is far better than this one and it comes with the logo plate which why would you need that and why isn't that like free why is that part of the fun accessories that you get it is not worth thirty dollars more for these things maybe pushing it 15 is is probably more accurate if this was around sixty-five thousand yen that'd be great but 
listen, it's difficult, and I just wanted to talk about it because I do think the, the TVA Loki looks cool. Will I be picking it up? Mm, debatable. I have the Ragnarok version, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Now, they did update the face expressions and everything, so it does look a little bit uh, softer. It looks a little bit, I guess, more like Tom Hiddleston. It looks a little bit more animated as well, let's be honest, but the hair plate is the same, so they kept that from Ragnarok. And the suit body is cool, but um, he doesn't come with any bent legs, he just comes with three arms, two pairs of hands it looks like, so it's just not worth $80, is what I'm saying. If you want the TVA version, I'd say you're safe in getting it. The horns are cool, but Loki doesn't wear the horns that often in the show, so if you're getting a TV show version, the TVA version looks like the way to go. But yeah, that's really the main thing. Also, they've done the same thing with the Nendoroid Captain America Sam Wilson figure, and the standard version, which is around 5,000 yen, so it's a little less than $50, comes with Sam Wilson, one face plate, the shield, and the wings, and that's it. Oh, he comes with an extra pair of hands, but that's it. The figure looks stunning, it looks beautiful, and I can't wait for it to come out. But this is the standard version, around $45. And the DX version runs you around 8,000 yen, which is around $75, and it comes with the second shield with some ricochet bullets, a second faceplate, and a uh, shield throwing effect piece. Again, for a DX, okay, you're getting a second faceplate. The Loki one didn't come with that. You're getting a separate shield with some effect pieces on it. I could see that being an extra thing for someone, uh, but only those two pieces really are important. The other one's just a plastic film piece that you could probably make yourself, so <sighs> is it worth it? That's the question. Now, I have this DX pre-ordered because I loved this show, and I love Sam Wilson, so I I'm okay with spending the money on it, but <sighs> it's really just a question of prices rising. And if we compared it directly to the Winter Soldier DX version, this is what a DX should be. It's two figures for the price of two, honestly. 8,800 yen, which is the same as TVA Loki, DX version, okay? It comes with Winter Soldier as seen in the show, and it comes with Winter Soldier as seen in the second Captain America movie, Winter Soldier. It comes with three faces among them, two separate hair pieces, two separate bodies, two completely different figures that both look really great this is a dx this is what a dx should be there should be no other reason to have it captain america was like this as well it came with captain america from the first avengers and captain america from endgame and that's a solid dx in my opinion miles morales came with miles without the jacket and miles with the jacket solid i don't mind a dx if it looks like this but going to that loki dv it's just there's nothing this looks like a regular nendoroid this is what, like, this should be 5,000 yen right here. After all that I've talked about, going back to this photo, this should be 5,000 yen, around $45. That's really what this rant is about. Uh, it's worrying a little bit just to see these things skyrocket in price because they know people will buy it. <laughs> Again, I know the Marvel fee must be crazy high for them to make it this high because some other Nendoroids that have come with way more than this are definitely not priced this way, so... It is interesting to see. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. If this has sparked any conversation uh, in yourself or whatever, are you being pickier with your purchases now that prices are getting higher? The Nendoroid world uh, obviously has exploded in the past couple of years, so this is going to happen. So thanks for listening to me. Uh, with that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.